Okay. So what happens is all your life you eat crap. Okay. So you've had all kind of junk food. You have a lot of carb rich food, and you spoil your health. Okay. So you are in the worst kind of your health. Now one suddenly something happens. A switch happens, and you get. Influenced by someone, some role model in front of you, and says, "Ki, hey, save the planet." And the only way to save the planet is by eating green, being a vegan. Okay, so you—it's very convincing also because these role models who are placed in front of you, who are vegans and all—they all, all are influential people. They all, uh, you know, big big sportsmen also start nowadays claim to be vegan, but who are not. and you get influenced because you are a common man these are your role models you get influenced uh, through different media television magazines even school they organize certain events which are around being a vegan but not being a vegan also saving the planet and the subtle message through these events is that you got to adapt a life which is basically plant based vegan Now you, as a person, are very sick. You are not feeling. You are miserable. Your digestion is gone for a toss. You get these headaches. You get these pimples. But and you've had these snacks, chai, chuda, you know, all kinds of stuff. Cakes occasionally, ice creams, and you've had this enjoyable life. And now suddenly you say, "Ki me me vegan jaunga, me me vegan banunga," and by going vegan, I am going to stop eating all this crap. No plastic in my life, so processed food ban kar diya, right? Pani ka bottle ban kar diya, so plastic ban kar diya. So automatically, nee nee, I am very planet friendly, I am very earth friendly. I am not going to have that. No cold drinks, nothing, because that company is associated with all these bad things. No this, no that, no that. Only ghar ka khana khaunga, or khali mein itna hi khaunga, or mein then extremely I'll only eat green vegetables, etc. So the benefit what vegans get is not by eating. vegan food it is by eliminating the crap so when you eliminate the crap you get the benefit of a relief oh there is no stress anymore the body feels ah i don't have to fight it out now constantly no ice cream is coming in no processed food is coming in no sugar is coming in okay aur kuch ganda plastic wala nahi aa raha hai so the body feels relieved of the entire stress coming from all this crappy food and now it starts diverting its energies towards healing itself okay so for the first 5 years a vegan will feel extremely healthy healthy because there is no more stress of fighting of in a crap food so the first 5 year of journey is like a graph is going up and up and up okay but it can only run this much after 5 years 3 years 5 years the graph starts coming down because now you start experiencing the problems coming from the deficiencies of a vegan diet because vegan diet which is plant based is not something that gives complete nutrition to human body because it is not bio available so it might give you temporary energy to perform and function but it is not going to provide you the entire set of nutrition that you need to survive and thrive to survive yes you might survive but you will not thrive on a vegan diet so over a period of time the graph which was going up will now start coming down and you'll start experiencing the issues of joint pain depression um, you know uh, muscle loss a lot of vegans start losing teeth yeah. hair Uh, a lot of things start happening but the influence of uh, uh, veganism and the belief of that by doing this they are saving the planet a lot of times overshadows and makes them blind from all these things that are happening to them some of them get out of it you'll have a lot of examples on uh, on on social media where people have people show their earlier journey of being vegan and then they experiencing the problem and then they changing back to eating meat 